please be advised there are spoilers ahead related to the property being watched and or discussed. Hey, hey, hey! Hello! Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so very much for tuning in. This is Asha Media TV. My name is Asha. This is where I like to watch, react, and review, and share my two cents <laughs> about a couple of properties related to sci-fi and fantasy. So in today's video, I'm going to press play on episode five from the ninth season of Supernatural, titled, interestingly, Dog Dean Afternoon. Now, I know never to presume there's, any, there's ever going to be much of a likeness to the movies that inspires their titles, although I would not object to an Al Pacino cameo. <laughs> of course not, right? Anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing what this one's going to be all about. Uh, I mean, if it's not usually related to the movies, I wonder if it's going to be literal. Like, Dean and the dog having an afternoon. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I'm going to get ready to press play on this episode. So here's my condensed reaction to episode 5 for your viewing pleasure. A dog! <laughs> Let's see how it's related to the whole thing. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, of course. It was all the rage at that time. It's me, buddy. It's me. Yeah. That's a brutal kill. I like how they showed it with the shadow, though. That's clever. A uh, taxidermist named Max Alexander mysteriously crushed to death. Nearly every joint in his body dislocated, every bone broken. Uh, poor guy's a human pretzel. You tell me what's going on. Oh, gosh, yeah. The demonic luchador? Shop's a couple hours away in Enid, Oklahoma. We should at least check it out. Unless there's some reason you think we shouldn't. Yeah, he can give you a couple. But he won't. Oh. Well, that creep factor just skyrocketed. <laughs> oh, it's a common hobby it's for a number of people. Body's already been in the morgue. Just wrapping up with Dave Stevens. He's the one that discovered the body. Hey, Dave Stevens? I just got a couple questions for you, if that's all right. I'll tell you whatever you need to know. Max was a... a real pal. Button buddy. Hmm. I love his hair. <laughs> so, uh, about what time did you discover the body? About 9 a.m. Uh, my usual pickup time. I come in every Wednesday and Sundays, uh, to collect the entrails. The what? The animal organs. Mm -hmm. After Max would uh, dig him out and work his magic, he, uh, he was a real artist, <laughs> you know? Was there anybody else here when you showed up? Mm -hmm. No one. No, other than, uh, the Colonel. Aww. So Dean is gonna adopt a dog? Those are animal parts. We got a pagan symbol and we got a human pretzel. Yeah, that all sounds very witchy, but I wasn't able to find the hex back. All right, well, let's keep digging. But, uh, not here. I don't like the way Elvin's looking at me. <laughs> I'd be kind of paranoid like that, too. It's silly, but it's true. Okay, uh, that symbol in the graffiti, it's not Wiccan, it's copyright. Local animal rights group. Enid's answer to PETA. 
Makes Snark. sense. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, it makes sense that an animal rights group would have an axe to grab with the taxidermist. That is quite a name. Now the question is, are those bleeding hearts actually witches or just hippies? What's the difference? I'm sure there's a difference. I always knew I'd found the source of all evil at a vegan bakery. What's that smell? A patchouli. Yeah, mixed with depression from meat deprivation. The vegan restaurants I've been to have been fantastic. At your service? You two are members of SNART. Founders and co-presidents, actually. Uh, can we interest you in some literature? Or a flaxseed scone. It's wheat-free, gluten-free, sugar-free, and surprisingly more hey, Stop you right there. <laughs> Sounds delicious, though. Of Max Alexander, local taxidermist. He's dead? You knew him. Ish. Um, small town. Well, he was murdered last night, and his snort logo was found at the crime scene. You two wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? No. Uh-uh. We know how hunters are. They're selfish dicks who define themselves by what they kill. <laughs> and as animal advocates... We couldn't stand for that. So you killed him? Of course not. Snart doesn't tolerate violence. <laughs> Snart! Well, last night when we were tagging the joint, we heard this voice. A hissing noise. It freaked us out. So we Why are they wearing sunglasses, sunglasses though? It sprayed us in the eyes with mace. And it's not like we could go to the cops. So now we look like total douchebags. Because we have to wear our sunglasses inside. Oh. <clears throat> Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> Put them back on! <laughs> That's right, Dean. It's not caused by mace. All right, what caused it? Right here. Blunt force, radiation, venom. As in snake? Ah! The was constricted. Snake man, snake man. By venom. Okay, so what are we talking here? Some sort of a freaky ass snake monster? <sighs> Mary. In a cowboy hat. Snakes either envenomate or constrict. No snake does both. Correction. Freaky ass mega snake monster. That could be a Vitala. Yeah, but they're not afraid to sink their fangs in. A taxidermist was bite free. It doesn't really fit the profile. Mm. All right. So. So call Kevin. Have him look some stuff up. Vitala be like one of their brothers. Aren't you early, dude? I'm just wondering if it's just him alone or is he with a group of other snake people? Gosh, all of them? Oh my gosh, they're actually showing him eating the cat. Dude, you said you're from a perfume company. Him instead of the cats. <laughs> oh man. In some ways, I'm glad the CG was really bad, but still. Thanks. Why does that mutt look familiar? That was the taxidermist's dog. So he's been at both crime scenes? Yeah. Maybe he's a suspect. I mean, it could be a skinwalker, maybe a shapeshifter. Doesn't really look like a monster to me. 
what we're going to find out. It'll definitely make up for that bad episode there. Um, the creepy one, All Dogs Go to Heaven. They make a better story out of it in this episode. I guess we can uh, rule out killer. Do you agents need any further assistance? Officer, oh, I think we're okay. Thanks. All right, well, let me know. Officer. Mm. Can I borrow your hat? Huh. Look at that. Are we sure this is not a possessed dog? Super smart. So, the colonel's not a suspect. He was your witness. You speak sign language? <laughs> That's monkeys. Huh? <laughs> you know what? This is going to sound crazy. I read this book once about this guy who tried to teach his dog to speak after a witness to murder. It worked? No. <laughs> but he wrote a book about it? Yeah, well, he doesn't have what we have. Kevin, that's <laughs> me. How do we speak to a dog? What? They're going to talk to the dog? Kevin said it's like a sort of uh, human animal mind melt. Meaning? If it works, we should be able to read the colonel's thoughts. Gosh. All right, I'll do it. You, you got enough on your plate. Like what? Uh, like... You're tired? You got an angel in you. You've got a sensitive stomach. Last thing we need is you chucking this stuff up. Huh? I don't look so bad. I was wrong. <laughs> the Isla Hill May. Duke Elhu Nograr the Tour Oren. Are they gonna have like a right, voice for the dog? Oh my gosh. Spell things like ass and was a bust. All the songs. At least it didn't affect your appetite. Jeez. Yeah. Change the station. <laughs> Change the station. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, shut up. It's working. It... Go. What were you trying to tell us about cowboy hat? The douche wheel who killed my best friend was wearing a cowboy hat. And the bot head too? Yep. Same guy killed both. Ask about the cats. Yeah, uh... <clears throat> it's hard not to want to sing along with the song. I actually love the song. It's an oldies favorite. Gotta read the red meat, dishwashing detergent, and tiger bomb. Huh. So what's he saying? Uh, that the, the guy, he smelled like ground chuck, soap suds, and old lady cream. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what are you laughing? Oh, what? Uh. Is he taking on, like, <laughs> characteristics of a dog? Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, you, 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 you. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Uh, Did they he... do the spell wrong? I think the spell worked. In fact, I think it worked a little too well. What? I think you might be a dog. What? You're scratching your head. You're barking at the mailman. You're playing fetch. I... <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Uh -oh. Of course, give this to Jensen to play. Let's admit it, it would have been, it'd be funnier with Sam. Cause it's so out of character. When you mind meld with an animal, it's possible to start exhibiting some of its behavior. Don't look at me, Hoss. It ain't <laughs> my fault. Well, how long am I going to have the urge to sniff butts? <laughs> Yo, <whoa. laughs> I don't have the urge to sniff butts. Yet. Do you really have, have that? No, come on! <laughs> well, Kevin doesn't know how long it'll last. It's not like it's an exact science, you know? Where are we headed? 
Back to the shelter. To sniff out more clues, maybe dig up something we missed. All right, one more doggy pun on you, and I'm gonna have your nuts clipped. I hate to break it to you, Hoss. My sack's emptier than Santa's after Christmas. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Hey, Dick, move, pigeon! Screw you, ass hat! <laughs> Wait a minute, can I hear all animals? Yeah, animals have a universal language, like Esperanto. That's great! This one actually caught on. And I'm just getting started, too. Brewing a real big one. Ha! Bet your ride's gonna look sweet and white. Oh, where's Norm when you need him? You call him douchebag. Douchebag? Oh, shut it, you winged rat. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> Just calm down. Just get in the car. <laughs> that's right, Sally. Go cry to Mama. Oh, that's it, you son of a bitch. Oh, makes me miss that comedian. What's a day to clean these cages? What's a day? Okay. Alright. Just one biscuit. I made a Raquel Welch poster and a rock hammer. Still shaking the fence, boss. Still shaking the fence. Still shaking the fence, boss. Still shaking the fence. Hey, look. Hardly. I'm not getting any closer to a bunch of complaints. Hey, Teddy boy. Hey, over here. Yeah, uh, sorry, pal. I'm done for the day. But I saw everything. <laughs> Sounds like Garth. Well, what do you want, huh? What? Bacon strips, sausages? Bitch, please. I'm gonna rat someone out. It's gotta be worth my while. I want a belly rub. Yeah. All right. Not from you, sweetie. From that big one. Ha <laughs> <laughs> <Later>. Hi. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the leather pants. The dude's a total closet case. Apparently that guy has a sweet tooth. Or kitty cats. Hmm. Oh, oh, and uh, the sack had something written on it. Okay, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> uh -huh. oh. Hey, come on, we had a deal. No, you tell that to the tall drink. He's the one who stopped running. Change hands. No. Hand cramps. He's not talking. Attaboy. <laughs> it's a cute dog, though. We gotta go to hotel. Apparently a guy who works at a restaurant. Whoa, yeah. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Hey, they, sure you don't want to adopt me? No thanks, sir. Uh, we'll pass. No, I'm not about to make feet. Hey, Biggin, come back here. Uh, Biggin. Hey, hold up. What's the matter? Yeah, and they'll get captured again at some point. I didn't peg you for a softie. Going home, going home, honey, I'm coming home. Yes, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Make it, make it, make it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go along with it, but I'll tell you right now, it's not my kind of episode. I think they should have just made the dog be the only one he can talk to. It's a little, a little too much with all the other dogs. So, Chef Leo, you think he's our guy? Yep. It's Oki Town. Lots of dudes work out why that's. Whoa! Oxycodone, tramadol, methadone. Yeah, guess he likes to cook comfortably numb. Please, <laughs> mister. Over here! Oh, gosh. Yeah. So, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore, like. He's not lying. We're in a cage! That's yeah. mice, or... Yeah! <laughs> Eat you? Squeaky Look, voice. Behind you? Yeah, behind you. In the fridge! Okay, see why they needed to do this to help them along? Shamanism. Well, what's a chef doing dabbling with witchcraft? It says here, whatever animal organ you ingest with the right mix of hoodoo and spices, you temporarily gain the power of that animal. So, okay, if you're munching on owl brains... Yeah, it spins around like the exorcist. Close. Bolsters your IQ. Okay. Eat a cheetah liver for speed. 
bear heart for strength. Okay, so if he's chowing down on stuff. And it would make sense why he constricted the taxidermist and clawed the guy at the shelter. Lion liver plus eagle heart, a rattlesnake fangs plus anaconda bladder, baboon brains plus black widow abdomen. He's mixing ingredients. Buffet. The only thing that's making me curious is how they're going to take him down. Like, is it going to be as simple as shooting him? That's it. Or something more. Oh, my God. Chameleons. <laughs> Not oh. oh, that bad. Kind of tastes like chicken. Man, Sam. He's so unlucky. Is he a kill? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sam is officially going to be like super suspicious now. How the hell did you do that? Do Don't play coy. I want to know what you are. Oh, screw this shark to us. Oh no! Oh my main course. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, talk about terrible luck! Alright, Ezekiel. Uh, I don't think you want to be at uh, his dinner. Dean will probably save him anyway. Why does it smell like dog in here? Dog Dean! That smell's coming from you. Oh! Got any uh, quick doggy reflexes or something? What did you do to my brother? Your brother? What was your mum smoking when she had you two? <laughs> He's fine. He's just taking a little cat nap before dinner. I've never had human heart before. I heard it's a bit chewy. Good job I'm not a fussy eater. This guy looks familiar, but I can't... Then again, he looks like someone else I'm thinking of, too. Stage four carcinoma. That's why you're doing this. What happened? Dropped a short straw, decided to break bad? So when I was diagnosed, I was way past standard treatment. No one could save me. But then with the help of a pawny shaman and a zoo membership, I found a cure. Albeit a temporary one. You started experimenting with different organs, huh? Training in the single serving for a combo platter. Now what can I say? Combination therapy works. <laughs> stronger and the effects <laughs> lasted longer mm. well, I didn't mean to kill anyone at first but if people got in my way they became collateral damage guess you eat enough predators start to become one he reminds me of David Tennant that's what it is possum See, intestines I'm kill you Work up a nice appetite, then... What was that? I'm gonna eat your brother. Something liver? I mean, I don't know what the hell he is. But with healing powers like that... Who cares? He could kill me. <laughs> dog Wolf arm. heart. I'm sort of dog. Wow, the makeup team sure had a fun time.
episode's insane. Okay, well I guess communicating with all animals comes in handy. And I love how they were just hanging out in the neighborhood, you know, for him to, <laughs> for them to hear his call. Hey. Love of God, Sammy. Hey, Sammy. Zeke. Where the hell you are? Hey, come on. Wow, he's really knocked out cold. Damn face. Hey! <laughs> I was kind of hoping there for a second. <laughs> Back off, tofu breath. Oh, you must be starving. Lucky for you, I baked some vegan doggy cupcakes. Oh, that's cruel. Don't send him to a couple that he doesn't want to be with. I'm going to be pooping wheatgrass with these two. <laughs> Look, I know they're hippie freaks, but they're going to give you a good home, one that you deserve. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep him healthy. I was afraid to tell you earlier, but I boffed in your back seat. You... <laughs> what? I'm going to miss you, buddy. I'll miss you, too. And by the way, as an honorary dog, there's something you should know. Dogs aren't really man's best friend. What are you talking about? I know it sounds like a conspiracy theory, but the real reason we were put here was to... Ah! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, now the spell wears off? <laughs> That's pretty much me right now with this episode. <laughs> that is a, a nice little... A nice little hook. I'll give him that. I can't stop thinking about what he said. But come on, Sammy. That was out of his freaking gourd. Yeah, but, I mean, why... Why would he ask that? Why, why did he want to know what I was? Who the hell knows? He was all jacked up on juice, you know? He was possessed by, by something he couldn't control. It was... It was just a, a matter of time before it completely took over. Mm. Come on. I don't know. Well, I do. Trust me, Sam. You got nothing to worry about. I'm so curious how Sam is gonna, like, what's gonna be that final thing that gives Sam an idea that something's up. That's what I'm so, so curious to see. Like, is it, I'm thinking it's going to be a really dire situation, like seriously, life and death, maybe. And then, I don't know. I don't know, but it's going to be quite dramatic. Okay, dokie. Episode five is complete. <sighs> it's going to be a tough one for me to pick out only because um, this episode is but I'll pick something again I'm looking at the bigger picture and really well, I kind of know it already it's, the, it's that last part really right because we're seeing two things going on we're seeing Sam who's extremely suspicious that Dean is hiding something, or maybe not Dean specifically, but something's off. And that mo there's a paused moment, I could have misinterpreted, but I'm just going to say it anyway. Uh, there seemed to have been a paused moment where you can see Dean is almost exasperated, trying to make up a reason why this is all happening. And I thought for a split second he was going to just tell him. That's why I was like, come on. Right? I thought right there he's going to realize, okay, he can't, he can't keep this a secret anymore. And he's just going to tell him that he doesn't. 
They're really stringing the drama. And they're doing it in a really good way. I think they're doing it in a really good way. I like it. It feels organic. So, yeah, that, that's the scene for me I gotta pick. But I will also give a couple of honorable mentions. I really enjoyed that moment. It's so small and brief, but it was so cool visually of that moment where the snake man was like camouflaged into the wall. <laughs> I don't know why. I just love that. And that actually is a memorable thing. I will remember that from this episode. And uh, <laughs> Dean being able to talk to all the dogs and all the, all the animals, actually, all the animals, right? I thought it was a bit much. Uh, I think they could have actually built a really cool narrative if it, if it was just a dog and perhaps from different place to place he's guiding them. But I understand how you could use, how, how it's fun, how it's fun as a filler episode to use more characterizations with all the other animals. You know, Dr. Doolittle-ish kind of situation going on. So I, I, I get it. I get it. Okay, so I'm torn between my ash emojis because on one end, for a first watch, it had its moments. It was cute, you know? That's really the best word for it, cute. I didn't like the cat-eating part. And I wish they didn't show that the tail end going into his mouth. That's just me because I'm a cat person. But I love dogs too, but I, I resonate stronger with cats. But, um... I'm torn between a two and a three. It was, it was thankfully not as bad as all dogs go to heaven, to be truthful. So I'm like, would I rewatch this? No. <laughs> the villain was all right. I, I really want to give an accurate justification for my ash emojis. I will settle on a three. I'll settle on a three because... It could have been worse, and then putting it at a two where it's just okay. Three thing I think fits because if I were to rewatch it, I wouldn't cringe as much as you know. I'd have my moments where I chuckle still, and the the cute pets, you know, especially the belly rubbing and all that. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll I'll give it a, a generous three. Alrighty, I think that's fair. Could have been worse. <laughs> so there you have it. That is my reaction to episode five from the ninth season of Supernatural. If you know any trivia that you think I would find fun, you know I'm, I'm game to read them. I hope you've enjoyed this reaction nonetheless. And if you want access to my full reaction to this episode, especially if it's one of your favorites, details about that is in the description box below for you to check out. So, until my reaction to episode 6, I'm peacing out, everyone. See you later. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos.